Right, a bit of admin first. So the sound quality yesterday, not great. The sound in here isn't much better because if you, you've probably noticed, the room's like very, there's a lot of hard surfaces in here. You know, there's tiles, you've got tiles on the walls, tiles on the floor. It's a small room. This is the best we can do for now. I'm here for a month. So, I've been reading a lot of emails from you guys about you know, what to make videos about. I've been reading a lot of questions, a lot of comments, especially on Instagram and YouTube. And I think really it's best to just, if I'm gonna get back into these videos, I think it's the best way of doing this is just to take them one by one. If I just go on, if I just go on here and make a huge video and just sort of dump everything on, on in, one, in one go, I feel like I'm not gonna give it the attention it deserves, so I wanna address each question, each sort of topic individually. So, what I'm gonna talk about today is the key to having lots of lucid dreams. Now, I'm gonna stop you right there. If you've not had a lucid dream yet, don't watch this video. Go back and watch some of my other videos, like I've got you know, loads of videos about how to lose a dream for beginners, the best techniques for beginners, how to lose a dream tonight, all, all of these sorts of uh, keywords, these sorts of titles, that is what you should focus on first, okay? There's a really bad echo in here. So, go and focus on those videos if you've not had a lucid dream. If you have had some lucid dreams, maybe you've had two or three, even if you've had more than one, Keep watching this video. So, the key to lucid dreaming are lots, right? And this is, whenever I'm asked, you know, how often do I lucid dream, it's hard to give an exact answer because, you know, one week it might be every night, another week it might be two or three times, and another week it might be none at all. You know, it really depends. It's, it's hard to pin it on, like, a specific thing. It's not like you can do something specific wrong and then, as a result, not have a lucid dream. It's more a case of like the holistic image, the whole bigger picture. So it's never about just one thing. It's not like if you forget to do one reality check, you won't lose a dream that night. It's not like if you don't meditate one morning, you won't lose a dream that week. It's nothing like that. It really depends on a whole host of factors like your mindset, your emotions, how you feel, what you experience during the week, how you set your intention, like whether you really want to lose a dream or whether you just sort of are aware of the fact that you can. So, the key then to lucid dreaming a lot, and when I say lots, I mean sort of most weeks. So in, a, in an average week, you'll have one or two lucid dreams, and that's what I would consider lots. Any more than that, and that's, you know, that's ideal if you want to have lots of lucid dreams. But like I've said before in other videos, I, for me, that's not the goal. My goal is not to have a lucid dream every single night, because in many respects, you don't need to do that. Having one or two or even three a week is more than enough. I would even say for some people that's too much, especially if you can remember a lot of detail about the dreams. When you have that intense an experience that often, it starts to make it less intense over time. Now, I know there are loads of you who are going to say, well, I'd rather well, just be able to lose a dream that often and I can decide whether it's too intense. That's fine. And, you know, one on the teacher in this video is going to help you to do that. But for most people, one or two times a week is enough, and I would consider that as what you would say lots of lucid dreams. Because over a year, that is a lot, you know, that is a huge amount of, of lucid dreaming experiences to have, especially when you consider that one lucid dreaming experience can blow everything else out of the water and make you feel like you need to request your life and think about the nature of existence and all this sort of profound, deep thinking stuff. So how do you do it? Well, again, it's not down to one thing only, it's down to a mixture of things, but here are the most important things when it comes to having lots of lucid dreams. So we've spoken before about meditating every day. Every morning meditate for five or 10 minutes. I'm not gonna go into that, and I'm gonna try and repeat myself as little as possible here, because I've said in other videos about these things. So we're just gonna brush over the things very quickly, and then I'm gonna explain a couple of things that are important that you should maybe add to your routine that will really give you the results you're looking for. So meditate every morning. You wanna be doing your reality checks every day. You wanna be writing your dreams down every morning and you would be having a nighttime and bed, uh, no, a morning and nighttime routine in which you do the same thing every day at the same time. Now, I've made other videos about those, like for example, for example specifically on how to do morning routines, specifically how to do so and so. The real key here that is gonna give you more lucid dreams and have them more often, as well as doing that, right? So that stuff is the bare minimum. You need to be doing all of that stuff I just mentioned. Once you've, you've got into the routine and habit of doing that, you want to focus on the bigger, the bigger questions, right? The bigger things. So you want to focus on who are you and what are you doing with your life. What is your purpose and what is your intention? When you focus on that, you raise your level overall of self-awareness 
not only in waking life, but in your dream life as well. You want to start to get to the point where you question everything. You question what are you doing in life, where are you headed, what are your goals, who are you hanging around with. And when, when you start to question all of these things, the combination and sort of the, uh, the build-up effect of all of that is that you naturally will start to think in your dreams, is this real? What am I doing here? Where am I going? Where was I just a few minutes ago? And because you're raising your level of self-awareness, they say that a rising tide lifts all ships. It's the same thing here. The more, you know, the higher your self-awareness, the more lucid dreams you're going to be having naturally. So it's all very well. A lot of people will practice the same things. So they'll do reality checks, meditate, write their dreams down. And a lot of them, you know, a significant percentage will still say, why am I not lucid dreaming? And the, the real answer is that they're too focused on the practical side of it and not focused enough on the more holistic, bigger, more profound side of it, which is, who are you? Why are you here? What are you doing with your life and where are you going? These big sort of high level questions will help you raise your awareness, raise your vibrations. There are many terms for this stuff, right? In the spirituality industry, they call it raising your vibrations. I prefer to think of it as just raising your awareness. What are you aware of? Okay, what are you thinking of consciously and subconsciously at any given time? So focus on that. Start asking yourself these questions. What are you doing? Like, where are you going? What are you going to be doing in five years' time? And when you start to raise your awareness in this way, and it's not just about goals, by the way, it's also about how you're feeling. What are you experiencing and what can you actually interpret through your senses to be happening right now? Because all of these things really add up to the bigger image, the bigger picture, which is you as an entity of awareness, you as an intention or a, a, a manifestation of energy. And now I don't want to get too sort of buzzwordy and cliche with all of this stuff because that takes away from how profound it really can be. So just focus on your awareness. What are you aware of day to day? Like, do you go to your, do you go through your commute to work without realizing where you are? Try and you know, work on that, try and be more aware of your commute. And it can start with the little things when you eat a meal. Take some time to really experience the food you're eating instead of just you know, wolfing it down and then moving on to the next thing, or instead of just eating it while watching TV but not really paying attention to the food. Try and experience things as much as you possibly can. Try and really focus on how things feel. And you'll find that if you do that, as well as the basic things that you should be doing anyway, you will have far more lucid dreams and it won't be a case of like you do it for a day then you have lucid dreams it will be more noticeable on the long term picture right you're going to do these things the, the habits that i've mentioned and you focus on your awareness and build your your level of self-awareness and then over time you're going to have so many natural lucid dreams that you're going to want it's going to suddenly click for you you know one day you'll look back and think hold on i've had a lucid dream every week for the last two months what happened? Well, it's because you raise your level of self-awareness, right? So don't take my word for it. As with anything I say, give it a try. Let me know your opinion and let me know if it works for you. See you tomorrow.